What's up guys, this is Frank again. So welcome to the tutorial, send attachments with Mailgun Python API. So this will be the last episode of the Mailgun series. So we're gonna conclude this series today. And uh, so basically sending attachments with Mailgun API is just like any other, uh, just like sending a normal message. So, so most likely what we're gonna be doing today is just modify the code base that we have written from the part one and part two. Uh, I've actually just copied this code from the part two. And uh, so I add a return method here so we can return the status code when we run the function. So with that being said, so we're gonna just go ahead and demonstrate how to send attachments uh, with Mailgun API, okay? So in order to send uh, attachments from Mailgun, so we just have to pass one more parameter in this post request. So we can say, files equals a list. That is because you can send like several attachments in this files, you know, that's why it, it, it is a list. So we pass in an empty list here, then we're gonna pass in a tuple. Then we wanna name this tuple as attachment. So something to be aware of here is it's not attachments. Instead, it has to be attachment because this one single tuple is considered only as one attachment. Yeah, so that's why it has to be attachment instead of attachments. So then we have to pass in the name that we want to send uh, attachment to. Oh yeah, by the way, I have to uh, show up some here, here. So this will be the file that we're sending today. So we will send this awesome uh, coffee pictures in JPEG format, yeah, okay. So then let's go back to the coding. So attachment, then we're passing the name that you want to send attachments in the email. <clears throat> so this doesn't have to be like coffee cup working happy dot JPEG. So you can actually rename your file when you send this uh, email. So I would just say happy coffee dot JPG JPEG. Okay, this is the file name that will be in the email. Then we have to passing a open function here because we want to open the file and open because uh, this uh, this JPEG now is in the same directory where we're coding here. So I will just passing the whole file name here, coffee, happy JPEG. So if your attachment is not in the same directory, just apply the uh, absolute pass of the file you want to send, okay? Then we have to uh, read this file in RB mode, that is read bytes, okay? Then we have to read this JPEG. Okay, good. So, as you see here, we got lots of parentheses here. You have like one attachment, so don't forget we have another parentheses here. Just something to be aware of. Okay, so we're passing a list. This list consists of different tuples, okay? So one tuple is a single attachment. Then in this tuple, then we have a nested tuple, okay? This is very confusing at first. So nested tuple, then we have the name of the attachment that you specified. Then we open the file name in RB mode, then we read this file, okay? So then we can just send this file in email, okay? now. Let me just add some subject here. I can say, hello, you ordered some coffee. Text, we can say, hey, your coffee is here, good. Okay, so let me just go through this again for you. So we send a post request, then we grab your API, API, a base API URL, then we pass in your API key, then we're passing the files, that's in a list. So if you wanna add more file, you can just add another tuple here, then it's a nested tuple. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna send one attachment for today. So go back. Now we're passing a single tuple. Single tuple is a single attachment. Then we open this file in RB mode and read it. Okay, good. Pretty much it. So now let's run this function. 
Good. So response 200. So let me uh, head over to my inbox and see if it's arrived. Okay, perfect. It says, hey, your coffee's here. Hello, you order some coffee. Good. Then you see this attachment is not the file name of the original file. So it's it's name it's renamed as Happy Coffee. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys, so this video is very short today. So this will do for the whole series of Megang. I hope you've enjoyed Megang. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.